Okay, so in this video, we're going to demonstrate how the opening range breakout, oh, there we go, how it works. And uh, we're going, there we go. So it looks like it is in short. And we are going to be, looks like we're moving maybe lower. There we go. So we're out. So the way that the orb works is it basically puts a blue dot above the signal candle, which in this case is this candle right here. And it waits for a break above or break below. In this case, it got uh, short. It went, the next candle broke lower and uh, it took a, uh, it measured this distance for, and then it put a stop loss, some padding in here, and then a 1.5 R profit taker in this situation. And what we're able to do is we're able to go into our strategies here and we're going to go ahead and just disable this real quick so we can look at all the settings that are available. So all of the settings in this top area here are available specifically for this bot. Those are custom built. So the days of the week, you can close this uh, at a certain time of day so it doesn't accidentally turn it into a day trade. You can uncheck that. Risking $500, we have a 10 max lot size. In this case, we're trading the M in Q, which is the micros, M representing micro, the micro in Q, in Q meaning the futures contract for the uh, NASDAQ. And then uh, you'll see that we have a 1.5 R profit taker, five ticks. Uh, so in futures, a tick in this exact asset represents a $1.25 of padding. Our start time, we're automatically going to start at a specified time. It's not going to always be the very first candle of the day. It'll be a specific time. In this case, we're doing 820. And you guys saw the candle, once it makes a decision, it will uh, put a little blue dot above it uh, and then wait for a break above or below or a close above or below and then uh, set up a stop loss and take profit. In this case, it looks like it had a bunch of separate orders that it filled, got filled individually. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the orb works.